Hello guys, welcome back. This is Lemmet Gaming as always. And what I'm going to say at the start is, is don't forget to like and subscribe if you do enjoy what you see. It saves me having to do it at the end because then I might forget. Blah 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 blah. So um, yes, we're recording this straight after we recorded Crit Crunch, which should be uploaded some stage tomorrow, which would be technically today, give or take. Right. So guys, um, after our rapid success, which was actually a very interesting success whenever it came to Crit Crunch. We are now going to test out Tank Crunch and see how that works. That's if we the first guy even decides to clock in. So we've got more guys in our team which is taking off. Um, he's picking Yin. This will be interesting. So let's take a look and see what what combination of team we have. We've got a rank 8, we've got a rank 5, we've got Master Crunch. Uh, we've got a rank 5 Yin and a rank 5 Morgesh. Oh good, there's a fucking Seraph in the opposite team. I fucking hate Seraphs. I just... I just really hate Seraphs. Right, so I'm going to roll a smoke here real quick. Uh, what was that? A couple of things that I had to say. Um, yeah. Um, I don't think Tank Crunch is able to... Overly... Uh, he's not much He's not much for damage. He's more for being able to get in there and tanking, absorbing damage. So he did... Um, and... Yeah, pretty good. But then guys, so um, previously, I've got a lot of explaining to do, so the last video, Crit Crunch, was more of a test video to see what I could do, and it does appear that that video did drop down to around 30 to, it was in between 30 to 35 frames a second, so... It showed, because it's new software and I haven't 100% gotten used to it yet, I have now changed it up and I've changed the settings a little bit just to see if it works. So that's what I'm doing now. So, so far what I can see is, is we haven't dropped, out and dropped down on any frame rate as of yet. But we will see how that goes on. Because apparently the Algato is one of the best. I had a hub hog before and it done my head in. So it did. So let's see how this goes. I just as the thought hits. There's not many revenants running around. As I just kind of noticed there the night. I really only play at night anyway, but there's not an awful lot of relevance, but that's kind of interesting. There's a Twin Blast though. What I figured a lot of people would like. Ah, there we go. Oh, fuck. I see so many rage quitting at this point, so I do. Because, uh, yeah. Um, no supports, which is interesting, because if you're planning on running a full offense deck, uh, or a full offense team, you have to be pretty good at offense. They don't have a tank either, as far as I noticed. Interesting. So who do they have in their team exactly? So we've got... We have a Greystone, which is our tank. GG, have fun. Okay. Uh, right, so we're going to grab our tank. Obviously not as much damage, but we have a fuck ton of defense. Obviously, the first two things we're going to grab at the very start are our Milestone Gem and our Ward. So who do right, who do we have in our team? Right, so we've got Greystone, who is our tank, which I'm also tank as well. So that's kind of interesting. But I also do. I have noticed that Crunch has absurdly high, absurdly high. If I could English today, absurdly high burst damage, which means that he can drill down people very quickly, which is quite useful early lit, early mid and late game. So as long as you're being smart about it, that is. Um, we have an Aurora, so we have our team fights, kind of, kind of sorted, kind of. Uh, then we have our Belaka, who is our mid laner, so we're pretty good on that front. And then we have got Yin as our carry. So all in all, very good. For their team, they have a Twin Blast, which is a carry. We have Aurora, which would be their off laner, I'm presuming. We have a Seraph, who is their jungle. We also have a Countess, who is, I'm presuming, their mid lane. And then we have their Revenant. So two carries. Carries can be a bit of a nightmare, but they're easily enough put down if under the right circumstances. So due to correct team comp compilation, compilation um, technically their, team's good, is, their team will be much more powerful late game due to the fact that most carries will run crit and lifesteal who which according to Seth is not exactly very high up in terms of meta which is interesting due to the fact that with the effect with the ability of crit you would think that it would be 
very high in terms of the meta leaderboards, but it's really not according to Seraph, which are not Seraph, Seraphim. It depends, I suppose it depends on what character you're running it, running it on, but I have found, I tried to avoid crit for the longest time because I'm more of a flat damage. I don't like the chance. I don't like that chance ability, which to be fair does annoy me because the chance ability is just, as I said, it's down to pure chance. And that Countess literally just butchered Arbalica. So she did. That's not exactly a great start. And I'm going to die. Uh, so it isn't. But Balaka is automatically out of mana. For fuck's sake. What's our Balaka wrong? Balaka is running wards. Fuck's sake. And we don't think. This is. Um, as I said. This is just sort of a secondary test as well. So Revenant. Revenant has no get out of jail. Twin Blast kind of does. I don't think I'll be able to get in there to do any significant damage though. That is my problem at the minute. But uh, Balaka, what is red buff? Ooh, could I, could I? Alright, come on. I'm keeping you covered here, Balaka. Just get your fucking red buff and go. Countess is moving on that buff. And could I get in to kill that? If I could get in to kill that Revenant, this would be good. Fuck off, Lai. Well, Revenant, how are you doing? Three, two, one. One already. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, ballsy move, but I got it. Ah, uh, tar diving. Obviously, I can automatically see it coming, guys. As soon as this happens, as soon as they see that, but as soon as they see that part of this video, they are going to bitch. Ooh, why are you tar diving? Cause why the fuck not? A lot of people need to get this into their heads. Is I have this habit of tar diving, plus a light grey stone to retreat for a minute. I'm not going to argue. I'm the disposable character in this team. So um. That's what I am. I'm the disposable character. I'm the one that's allowed to do this kind of shit. So um, that's the way I see it. The jungler, it's not so much that he's disposable. It's just if you can get to the point where he's helping everybody else, you're pretty much grand. But it's being able to help your team. Now, Greystone, how did you take so much damage so easily though? That is my question as of right now. How did you take so much damage so easy? Fly! Fuck off! I swear to God, that fucking weird sensation whenever they're fucking walking all over you is fucking annoying. Greystone has retreated again, which is annoying me due to the fact that Revenant on that fucking twin boss is going to deal with that fucking tar and I can't do jack shit to deal with it. Fuck's sake. You all been saying we're taking fucking Morgesh. Due to the fact that she's arranged, well, I suppose Caster. Mm, mm. So they're all right, tar down. Seth's over helping their Aurora up, which is kind of interesting. So it is. Uh, we're going to just clean up our camps here as quick as fucking possible because. My team is kind of starting to annoy me in certain ways that just, just really shouldn't be annoying me in. But this is what happens. I always seem to get stuck with the shittier teams. So I do. And it's kind of a shame because I am... Like, I see, there's, only so much, there's only so much one person can do. I just find out. I, I also looked. <laughs> my most popular video, right? My most popular video at the minute is uh, Crunch Can Be A God. That's, that amuses me to no end because at the time that I uploaded that video, Crunch was getting nothing but slander because he wasn't viable. And I'm pretty sure I demonstrated that he's pretty fucking viable in the right hands. So he is because, no, hands down, he, he can be pretty damn scary if he's in the right hands. Same as any character. Uh, Balaka, do us all a favour and go help that Greystone. 
Has any of them taken any sufficient amount of damage? No, they have not. Balak is moving in. Yin managed to hold off Aurora. Balak is moving in to try and score. Oh, double score. Right. Um, the odds of me catching them at this stage is very unlikely, so we're going to just leave that. Actually, Revenants just turned around and went in for the kill again. I have no mana. Oh my god, I am a gobshite. Somebody fucking kill him. Somebody fucking kill him. I have no mana. I am a bloody imbecile. Ah, oh, he knows not to do it this time. Oh my god, how did I mess up that much? That much? How? Just, Countess, fuck off. Oh my god, I, mess, I messed up big time. I will hands down admit that. I messed up big time. Fuck's sake. <sighs> Cannot believe that. I let, oh my god, my mana management and whenever I'm being crunchy shit. I cannot believe that there. I think it's, what's that dash cost? 65. That's why, because I used the dash twice, which was that and the recrunch. That was why I was not able to cast my uppercut. Mm. Oh, that's annoying. And of course, Countess goes in to try and clean up the other two, but Countess is practically tar dived, which is a really bad move. Which one tar dived? And um, both of them going to retreat, right? I need to get, I need to get back into shape here, sort of. So let's clean, cleanly, uh, quickly clean this up. Who the fuck is shooting me? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck! Thank you, Aurora. Who the fuck spamming good job? Jimmy. Mate, do me a favour. Fuck up. Aurora's meant to be covering me in jungle. What was she not doing? People annoy me. Lovely. Just lovely. Right. Calm down, positivity is key. Positivity is key. And I'll not be able to get that on me again. I'm now down three to one to three, and my entire team is likely just having a laugh at me. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna demonstrate you don't fucking laugh at crunch. So um, that is what I'm going to demonstrate here today, is you don't laugh at crunch. So guys, if I end up if I end up shutting up for a minute or two, it is because I am going to be in a very, 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 very pissed off mood, and I'm going to go as hard. I am literally going to go as try hard as I physically can. And trust me, whenever I go try hard, shit happens. Whenever shit happens, I tend to go fucking ape. Balaka, you're just doing my hot not 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 in at the minute, right? Revenant. To you, to you, Revenant. You, I particularly owe, but I'll t I'll take a twin blast from my troubles. Son of a bitch! The asshole escaped. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll do. Hmm. Just give me, a, just give me my time. Trust me, trust me on this. We're going to be grand. We're going to be fine. So we are. As I said, this is tank crunch, so I'm not expecting to be whacking out the massive numbers, but trust me, just just bear with me on this. They're gonna regret ever crossing me, and especially see that Balaka and my team? Balak's go Balaka's gonna regret even saying good job. Now Balaka could have been saying good job to me, or the Aurora that let me die. But it, at the end of it all, don't worry, oh my fucking god, what is with you fucking going head first into the fucking trouble? Okay, my anger's really starting to skyrocket. This is not good, not good, and guess what? Not good. Because whenever you get angry, you start making mistakes. You start making mistakes, you start losing, you start losing, then you get even angrier. But we're going to go uh, interfere with this Aurora and Seraph co Wombo combo because um, their Seraph is not jungling. Which means that their jungles are currently full because their Sarath is currently trying to get easy kills. Hello Sarath. You run away please, thank you. I'm going to just uh, deal with this. So I am. Uh, 
right. Red buffs have been taken, so Seth has went back in. Aurora has heavily screwed up. I'm trying to hang out. I got wards. Why are they fucking using them? Force of habit, guys. I don't normally tend to use wards, so I'm still trying to get used to it. Aurora. I'm kind of stuck here, you know. I can't help. I can't like. I can't jungle and help at the exact same time. Your ultimate's ready though. If your ultimate's ready, then sure. Why not? Just get your ass out. We'll deal with the tar. Actually, we'll not deal with the tar. Yes, retreat. Get your ass out. Right, I've got five points. Let's go spend these five points to fuck because this is doing my head in now. I did get my kill back, so one more and more evens. This countess is going to be a pest later on, so uh, we're going to make sure that she's not going to be a pest due to the fact that a lot of people tend to build countess for that tasty one shot capability that she has with her feast. Well, that combination with the feast and the dark, not dark tide, but the swirling one, the one that she spins around in a circle, which is to be quite fair, a fucking headache because that really should not be allowed to combo. So it shouldn't. Come on now, come on now, come on now, come on now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. I assisted. Happy? Because I am. Dude, I will fucking rip your head off and shove it down your fucking neck. What did I say? What did I say? Don't fucking cross me. I owed you that from the jungle, you bitch. Don't cross me. I will, and I will, I repeat, I will get you back. Every time. Huge lad spike. Um, I didn't get a lag spike. Or did I and not notice? Probably the case of I did and didn't notice. So, obviously, Revenant's kind of probably going to be quite pissy with me because I am, I can't just like completely boned him. Which I'm not going to argue with. Purple buff. Revenant's going in again. Countess is there. Not even going to try and interfere with against any of that. Uh, Balaka, actually, come here. Mm, get owned, motherfucker! Oh, someone who's iced out it. Okay. Oh boy, oh jolly, oh god. Well. There you go. I'm back to evens now. So guys, please fucking relax. Quit the slagging. Quit the bitching. Just do your fucking job. Right, so we've got six points. I need one more point. But yin, yes, I'll come and help now. Speaking of that, one more point. I got it. Come on. You need help, yin, I can help. But I do, I do want one for myself, though. There you go, Ian. Job done. We've now got eight points. Let's retreat and upgrade. Well, Revenant, how you doing? Unfortunately, I'm unable to help you right now, so I'm going to go grab my upgrade, and we're going to grab our tempered plate. Wrong tempered plate, Mark. So we just screwed ourselves. So we did. That was meant to be a level one tempered plate, which, well, yeah, kind of fucked up. 
So what we'll do is, is we'll go grab our other tempered plate first. So well, um, that was kind of a messy decision on my end, which is kind of a shame, but it should be easily corrected, hopefully. If everything goes to plan, that is. Uh, Aurora, on the other hand, you're being a bitch. You've got no way to stun her. That is basically a pointless endeavour. Oh. Get owned. Oh shit on a stick. Help, 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 help. I'm out of here. Help, 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 help. Please tell me none of their teams have any global ultimates. No, they don't. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Whew. Okay then. I just roughly survived. Right, so what was it that I had to grab? There was something else I had to grab there. So I could grab my health, I could grab my tuna bar, or barrier. Oh, excuse me. Right, so uh, to be fair, we're going to grab our health. So we are, because I uh, kind of need it right now. Seraph over there. Hmm. I don't like that Seraph. Seraph tried, uh, Seraph tried bullying me early game. Not even early, we're practically mid game right now. Oh. But at the same time, even without the damage increases of what I would normally have, Crunch is still able to blast his way through jungle as quick as that. Right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to drop that there. And we're going to go try and assist. Should we even try and assist mid lane? We could assist mid lane, but with two of them being there, one of them being a Revenant, I'm not really liking my odds. Actually, nope. Take that back. I'm liking my odds. Yet again, I'm getting the fuck out. I took my odds. I scored. I'm okay. I'm alive. Nobody has a global alt. As far as I'm aware, nobody has a global alt. I'm okay. That I can live with. I'll grab our two health upgrades and can't believe I messed that one up so badly that it even makes me feel stupid. Joyce. Right, so we're going to go clear off uh, our off lane camps. So we are. Obviously, we don't start getting tanky until a little bit later into the game, but it's kind of what those, it's kind of some of those things that you have to sort of abide by. It's those rules. Because it's the late game where the tankiness kicks in. Well, you see, technically, I was meant to have a little bit more tankiness than I do have right now. Technically, I do have more tankiness. And it's hard to explain. It's hard to, like, accurately just sort of all represent. But uh, we'll go and assist here because... This tower is about to go down, and I don't exactly know what their plans are. Seraph's on the verge of death. Seraph is more than likely not going to die due to the fact that she managed to escape just about. Lovely. Um, nobody want to help? I'm just going to, okay, I'll just sit and tank here. So, uh, quite happily. So, we've completely neglected one of, we're going to end up completely neglecting one of our cards due to the fact that we kind of uh, jumped the gun. Uh, unfortunately. It's one of those things that ends up happening, which is kind of unfair, but it kind of happens at the same time. He's just like, I'm out of here. Yin. I'll be having one. So, well, because you can have two, I'll have one. Seems like a good rule to have. Good rule of thumb. Uh Especially if considering you're actually going for it, because in the previous match that we did have, this is recorded straight after, as you can probably tell. Um, nobody went for the Raptors bar me, which I'm not going to argue with, because that means I was able to accelerate out of control rapidly quick. Which, to be fair, in my opinion, isn't a bad thing. But obviously our damage is somewhat lacking at the moment, but that can be easily corrected later on. Um, pretty much. Right, so we're going to grab our green buff here and see how we work it. Trying to explain my line of thought is incredibly difficult, believe it or not, because I'm always thinking, 
where everybody is, taking it into consideration and trying to work it that way. Aurora's making her way. Aurora's just going to go sit and farm there for a wee bit. Uh, there's Seraph, I'm pretty positive, is not farming, which Greystone is just about to get completely and utterly banjaxed. Jesus Christ, Grey. What was that? Oh no, there's Seth is jungling. Interesting. So how is he able to jungle and lane at the same time? Unless she's got incredibly quick uh, lane clears. Oh lovely, she's just... Oh, of course, everybody loves running crit. Is there even a viable counter to crit? As of yet? I don't think there is a viable counter. I'm pretty sure there isn't a viable counter. I'm not sure. I'll have to check that one for treat. Yes, I know, I know. Even at that with oh well, uh, there's Revenant, so lovely, and there's Aurora and somebody else landing in for what I'm presuming they thought was going to be a gank failed, so it was. Uh, our camps are currently actually mostly clear. I'm gonna go see if I can grab this river buff real quick because their their kind of days is very good at cleaning up their river buffs. Work away. I'll not have it. Oh hi. You knew I was there, so that's a bit of a dick move. Aurora, did you leave that uh, red buff for me, please? Did you, please? No, you didn't. So somebody else has it, uh, presuming the Aurora, which uh, from the looks of it doesn't have it. But that Seraph looks very tasty in my opinion. Oh no, that all all of them just came out of the woodworks there. All of them, all of them just came worming out of the woodworks. Oh shit, they're converging on me. I'm just going to casually make my way out. Come on, please, Revan. Do your... Do your worst. Thank you very much. I'm not walking into that. Fuck off. Think I'm going to walk into that again? You think? What? I've learned as soon as Aurora goes, do not chase because that their fucking circle will root you for a good little amount of time and make you very fucking sh you're gonna regret it basically if you get caught in that shit especially in a team fight you're gonna regret it <sighs> right now we get to finish off this which is our health right um i can't remember exactly what way this build actually directly runs so we're not gonna be able to obviously use our temper plate but in late game what you would end up doing is switching out your expensive temper plate which i accidentally already equipped for your, you'd, you'd have the less expensive uh, tempered plate first and then you'd grab your actual tempered plate. So now that that's out of the way, we're going to grab our Sage's Ward and replace it over that because we've got one pointers in it as well. So we're going to continue moving on from here. Obviously me being silly has its um, silly points obviously. So uh, by the end of it, I think I have over 2,000 in terms of health. Which is absurdly good, especially for Crunch, because of his ridiculous amount of damage. Like, I don't need... You don't need an awful lot of damage to make Crunch viable. Oh, shit. Ouch, that looked painful. So it seems to be our team has now finally started to gain a little bit of momentum, which is always good. Always good. The Aurora seems to have got themselves... Their Aurora kind of got themselves a little bit jammed in a bad situation. Unfortunately, I'm not able to help because that Countess is going to be a bitch. That Countess is level 9. Why is that Countess level 9? Countess just completely neglected their uh, Twin Blast. Well, that did not go to plan at all. Thank you very much. That did not go to plan at all. I know Seth's going to likely come straight for me. No, she isn't. No, nope, but Countess is. <laughs> oh, the balls are real. The balls are real. Oh well, that was fun. Uh, what can we grab for our miniature four points? So that gets put over the health. That gets put over my madstone gem. Don't have enough for it either. I've got my tuner barrier. I've got my lesser barrier. Uh, we just save up the extra point and put it into our defense, I guess, because at the minute we can't really do much. I should, I really should be getting more damage, to be fair, but uh, we'll wait and see how it goes. I'm going to just roll a quick smoke and we're going to respect it. Uh, you're grand, you're grand, and you're grand. All in all, we're pretty much good. We do need a ward prime, though. Uh, that might help a little bit. Uh, so we went from a bad start to... 
are actually doing half decent, I guess. So we're not doing woefully bad, to be fair. We're doing okay. Concern, I do, I do know how to run crunch. I just like to be. You have to spice things up every now and then. You just have to be a bit more greedy. Okay, like I'm not, like I'm no fucking professional player, like. Especially here, fucking hell, what professional player runs crunch? Lies. I think there's a couple of professional players that likes to run crunch, but more in a non-competitive idea. But I don't think crunch will ever get his a uh, competitive screen time, so to speak, because as said, he is woefully, woefully underused, which is quite a shame because he does he is some devastating capabilities. So he does like. I'm able to hit 300 on an ability, an enraged ability, just to be quite, just to clarify, oh shit, that didn't go well. Seth's moving in for the kill, I'm surprised Seth hasn't started building lifesteal yet. Twin Blast is getting greedy, I'm not able to, that was one hell of a hit and run tactic, I'll, I'll say that much. That was a very, very, very hit and run tactic, which I'll give you kudos for, guys. That was a ballsy move. So, we're just going to get back into our jungle here real quick because we really need our jungle. And our jungle's being cleaned out rapidly, but my, well, I'm able to clean out the jungle just as quick as anybody, like, so. I think the only one that'll be able to like, jungle me at this moment in time is probably Yin, whereas Yin, Yin's running a shit ton of Madstone Gems, which is a ballsy move because it's a very cheap to run deck, so to speak, so not entirely terrible. But uh, guys, I'm coming in now, so if you want to try and like just, just, just delay them a little bit, maybe, maybe. See, if we attack mid lane, we have a chance. See, that there mean if we attack mid lane, we neglect our off lanes or our other lanes. Sorry, that blew off. So, uh, attack raptors. One is go to help attack, help her attack raptors because she's going to need that help. Uh, I'm going to go clean off this lane over here and try and build a little bit of momentum, I guess. As you do. Just that, like, I'm not even running pure damage. So, I'm not. And I'm like, like what the hell? Now I see why. Cr now I know why crank tank crunch is fucking requested so much. But he's just so fucking powerful. Like what the fuck? Like I don't think that's fair. Like crunch isn't fair on the best of days, but crunch is even less fair now. So he is. I guess is this is this is this is absolutely stupid at the moment. What the hell? I was talking too much. Right. So now we've got our upgrades, but we're going to grab first, straight off the bat, we're going to grab our meltdown so well. We, yeah, we'll grab our meltdown. And obviously, it's just pure through the teeth with damage, so it is. Um, we'll, we'll then switch out, after that there, we'll switch out for our... We'll grab our Elder Mage after so well. So we need an R3 points, which, to be fair, shouldn't be too difficult to get our hands on. How much health did you lose? Seriously, Revenant, you just lost a whopping chunk of your health in a single blink. Oh, 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 you used that way too early, woman. Oh, see, you're just going to run away. Twin Blast, come here, come here, come here. Where the fuck are you? Aurora's going to try her best here. Oh shit, there's a Seraph. Seraph with an ult is not exactly a tasty thing I want to get in the, get in the wrong side of. I have been able to out damage in a Seraph previously, but I'm not, in, I'm not on the correct deck to out damage Seraph. So I'm not. I could try to, but it would be a death sentence. There's Aurora right on cue. Oh, you bitch. 
Shouldn't have did it. Knew you shouldn't have did it. Did it anyway. Right. We need one more point. That is a shame, though. That is a shame. Oh, Jesus. That went really badly, really quick. But Aurora has the advantage in mana and Countess has the advantage in level, I guess. But <coughs> that level's not going to make much of a difference. Oh, she's rude. Oh, she is dead. She is dead. She not a dead. Oh, she is dead. Nope. She escaped. Wow. That was an ugly fight on my part. Who is that? Delatory. Delatorix. Alright. So on my on, I'm on 8-5. I'm actually doing not too bad. Their Revenant has died 9 times. I feel so far. So, so far. So sorry for their team. Get your ass back. Oh, there's our 6 points. We're going to grab our Azimage Amulet right now. So we are with our massive 9 points and extra damage. That should hopefully allow us to eh, probably survive a little bit longer. Probably. You know. Right, well, back to business. We have the ability to completely clear house now, so with the Elder Mage Amulet, we've got our extra chunk of health, we've got two grand in terms of health, like that is absurd amount of health. Is there a Seth actually attempting to take Prime? Ballsy move, I do say, ballsy move. So, in future, no, not to try and uh, beat down on a uh, Seraph. That's a very bad idea. Plus she had the barrier which the green buff which is probably an even worse idea on my end, like so Yeah. Countess on the other hand, you are a ballsy bitch who I would love to completely and utterly dismantle. On the other hand, let's just drop off an extra ward. Seth's able to clean up very quickly. Aurora's gonna get caught off, she's not careful. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna retreat here real quick because that's not gonna, that's gonna turn into a very, very, as he says, ugly fight. Greystone is being wild fucking persistent on that lane though, so that's always, that's always a bonus. I'm gonna just uh, play Heidi Doody. See y'all later, guys. We've got our two points, we've got three points now that will allow us to, actually, I have no idea what that'll allow us to do with three points. What do we, what can we do with three points? Let me look here. Sorry, my laptop's in the way. For what I'm, all I, all I'm looking at is uh, upgrade the tempered plate. That's all I can say at the minute. Which wouldn't be a bad idea because it'll give us an actual little bit of defense against that Seraph due to the fact that Seraph is running crit and probably a hell of a lot of armor pen at the same time, which is going to turn her into an absolute dick. Twin Blast got very greedy very quick there. Actually, just now to look at it. So, um, we're just gonna like pop out and just say hi. Oh, he dodged it. Fair play. And there was a little bit of delay on my end too, which is kind of unfortunate, but we can soon uh, clear that one up. Uh, do you want that? Yeah, you want that. That's okay. I can leave you that. Where exactly is their uh, Seraph at? Their Seraph has just sort of went into pure defensive mode, which is interesting for a Seraph. But I don't have purple buffs, so that means I can now score any ambush that is actually required. Oh, that Aurora's going to hurt. That Aurora's going to get really fucking hurt if that Countess gets in or not. Countess is in, and she's just, oh, she just about managed to dodge it too. And Aurora, oh, she got spiked, rage. GG, bitch. Oh, she just got completely walloped. That Countess is fucking greedy too. That Countess is gonna die. Hello. Oh, you what, mate? You what? What? What's wrong? You're not gonna, you're not gonna follow up? No, I didn't think so. As I thought. Chicken shit. Probably because my entire team was behind me, probably helped that one a little bit. I've got six cards again, or six card points again. Twin Blast coming in from the side, hopefully trying to score a defense. <sighs> right, and uh, who's recently cleaned out Raptors actually now that I think about it? Seraph just got complete shit on. 
I'm not going to argue too much against that. We've only got seven points though, so we can start building up our defense. We've got all our attack that we need. Nothing else really. Uh, no other cards that I really have are used for attack. It's more just a shit ton of defense. So that means I can tank a hell of a lot more damage. So we'll see how that pans out in the near future. So we shall, because with that, we will have... Basically, if we max out soon enough, we should have enough, more than enough points to completely disregard the Thunder Cleaver and go straight into full upgrades. So, we're actually all good. But at the same time, we need to award Prime because Prime is a very, very strong target to have. And with that, Seraph. Seraph is far too powerful to let anybody near Prime with. Especially considering they have two carries. Kind of makes it a bit more of a pain in the ass. And then again, of course, our team likes to disregard Tars. So I'm going to go grab Blue Buff. And we are going to make our solid way right along and try and help. I spend more time playing defense than I do playing attack. Because we see here, somebody's going to end up bitching, and it's going to be because I'm away doing something completely different and completely irrelevant to what they're looking. But at the same time, there's only so much I can do. Oh, Jesus Christ, down goes an inhib. That's just not good for their team. Just not good at all. Enemy tar goes down. That's even worse. And I'm already called because we've only got three points to grab. So that means I can upgrade my tempered plate and get our tuner barrier on the go. Let's see. Alright, so let's just upgrade our tempered plate for now because with four points to go, that'll get us nine points. We still need our remaining three points to max out our tuner barrier. Which will then give me a shit ton of ability defense, which then... Oh, they're Revenant disconnected. I feel so bad for their team right now. <coughs> This isn't even what you would call an accurate description of a good fight. Either I'm getting into really good teams, or I'm just annoying a lot of people. Here, I owed that Revenant. That's just, that was, that was karma. That Revenant went and tried to decide, oh, I'm going to gank him while he's jungling. And he regrets it immediately. So he does. He regrets it more or less immediately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go push this tar, because they can't do jack fucking shit about it. They're, at this moment in time, trying to defend against something that is technically undefendable against... You can't... As of right now, it, 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 it's GG. We have Prime Orb in about 15 more seconds. Then that means you've got roughly two minutes of the stuff. Countess, are you actually... Are you, are, are you that bloody stupid? What the hell, Countess? Oh my god. Twin Blast got you in. And now Seth's going to go in and try and finish off the job. Seraph's not escaping, just to be fair with you, Seraph, you're not getting out of your life. Just being fair with you, like, I'm being quite frank with you here, Seraph, um, you're dead. And look, Countess is coming in. What do you think you're doing, mate? Oh, if I only had those upgrades, I would have been grand, because Seraph landed that feast. Or not the Seraph, the fucking Countess landed that, fe uh, that feast. Which chewed my health bar up and spat it back out. But. We should be grand. They lost three of theirs. Um, well, why does nobody come to help for fuck's sake? Well I was pushing the tower. I'm a tank. Nothing else. Uh, nine to six. The Revenant disconnected. Which I kind of feel just. Oh my god. Um, to be fair. Not exactly a very fantastic game on my part. Because. Um, nine to six. Well, 7 assists as well, 250 fucking minion kills. But at the same time, they lost 3 of theirs, we only lost 2 of ours. Technically, they've permanently lost one, so it's a 4v5. So it's a whopping case of G fucking G. The joys. The theater and other joys. See, I could go for more damage. Or not more def damage, more defense. Oh, Jesus, hiccups. Because of the way I've built the uh, setup, but down goes their second inhib. And um, GG. It's literally just a case of GG. <sighs> no point in attempting anything now, guys. You just legitimately just with two inhibs down. What exactly are you planning on doing? I don't. I honestly don't think that I will be able to tank Prime Orb the way that I am. To be one hundred percent fair. 
but in saying that, we should be able to demonstrate uh, completely devastate everybody else in terms of raw damage and power. Countess is going in for the kill. I'm going to actually just a uh, Countess. You're a ballsy bitch. Come on, Seth. It's none of Look, it's a two v one. Come on, it's a two v one. Actually, it's a two v two. Come on. Are you fucking serious? Job fucking done. The tank works well. Just get him right in there. Just get him right in there. And that's it. GG. Once he's tanked up, there's very, very little that can stop Crunch. Especially whenever he goes off on a massacre. To be fair, he never scored the massacre in this match. So that's a bit of a shame. That is a bit of a shame. Uh, but on the, on the other hand, that was just... Um, I feel bad for the Revenant because um, the Revenant just quit and yeah, the entire thing just went downhill from there for their team. I do apologise, but GG. Oh, well, Tank Crunch works. Um, uh, I got the most kills, but at the same time, I also got the most deaths. None of the. I, well, they're. That was just depressing on the Revenant side, so it was. That was just bad. But on the other hand, that went remarkably well, actually. Um, may have refined my tankiness a little bit, but as I started out, that's not too bad. So a little bit more tweaking has to be done. <sighs> Just sitting thinking there. What could, what else could you do? So guys, if you was there, if you have any recommendations for a tank deck, throw them down into the comment section, and we shall be able to. Well, shoot for the sums basically, but give it in. Give me the deck in good detail. Like actually plan it out. Tell me what cards to equip when, and I'll be able to sort that out. Uh, I'll continue fidgeting with my decks as well. So guys, on top of that there, if there's any characters that you do want to see... Oh, we got a chest. I've got no keys. Bitch! I wanted a key. Oh well. So guys, I shall see you all in the next video. This has been Lemon with Gaming. I hope you've all enjoyed, and goodbye!